So, how was your day? It's fun as swallowing broken glass. How about yours? Did you sell any houses today? I sold one today, but commission was only five thousand dollars, and but that's enough to pay for a mortgage and the cable. But I'm also thinking about putting some for your college fund as well. I'd rather go back to London. Sweetie, we talked about this before. We really cannot afford to send you back. But I'm glad that you found the program last year. But we cannot afford for you to stay there. I know. Why don't you get a job? And then maybe you could afford to go back? Now I feel stupid. Why didn't I think of that? So where do you see yourself in five years? Usually I picture myself in London where I'm a fantastic author of a sci-fi novel. Oh? You wrote a novel? Yeah. What is it about? It's about a vampire who falls in love with a shapeshifter. He's a British vampire with a French background who can wield Japanese swords. So, other than writing, what do you like to do in your free time? I like playing video games. My favorite one is probably The Sims. I like to make a bunch of different characters and kill them all. You know there's 47 ways to kill a sim. I like playing God. I'm just killing each one. Except recently. Kind of envious when they draw their fatal last breath. Um, okay. Um, how about we move on and consider your three main strengths? I like paddle boats. That's not a strength. It's an it. Um, I can imitate a zombie. Okay. What are three things you don't like about yourself? How much time do you have? Do you want the condensed version or the unabridged version? You know what? Never mind. I, I think I have all the information I need. Oh, Thank you for your wait, time. Wait, do I call you if I got the job or? No, no. Um, we'll call you, really. It's okay. You're not the first person to reject me. owner of Little Caesars. You are the only person to have ever loved me for who I am. Fast food loving, acne consumed, slightly overweight customer. But your breadsticks cannot fulfill my eternal hunger. Wait, that's too cheesy. Oh god, your cheesy breadsticks. Anyways, I just thought I'd inform you in advance that I'm planning on committing suicide. I apologize for the inevitable drop in your profits, but I just can't take any more sorrow. With love, number seven, with all the toppings, one liter of Mountain Dew, and three orders of red sauce. Sweetie, you spell suicide wrong. It has C in it. Glad the support of my family is overflowing. Are you thinking of going? We should. I'd rather die a slow and painful death than involving a marshmallow. I'd like to see that. I'm afraid tomorrow morning at 9 if you're so interested. Oh. But it's senior year. You have to go. Yes. Just because it's senior year does not mean it's my last chance to conform. Oh, but conforming can be fun sometimes. You should conform just this once and ask Gustav to go with you. Uh, no. I already have low self esteem. I don't need another tragedy to kill it off completely. But it's not totally impossible for someone to like you. equals resistance, which in return means resistance 
equals what? Ohms. So you guys will never guess what happened before class today. I was out in the hallway and I ran into this totally hot guy. Really? Details? Well, I think he's from a different country or something, like Spain. His name is Goose Tape and he's amazing. Oh my god, he's European. That's hot. I know, isn't it? And he's really tall and sexy and he has that weird accent thing going on. It's just like, <laughs> so are you thinking about harassing him until he has a new mom? Oh my god, yes. I think he has the potential to be my new pet. How are you gonna catch him? Well, I've got a plan. A major plan. <laughs> Which is why, exactly, right? Which is why electrical sockets, no matter how many warning signs they have on them, can never be trusted. Class, uh, studio has been invaded by another girl who thinks it's okay to come in late. And by the looks of it, it doesn't look like she knows a thing about computers. Go sit, new intruding girl. <laughs> like, wow, <laughs> what a crazy random happenstance. I didn't know that you were in here. Yeah, I just transferred in here a few days ago myself. <laughs> well, apparently we were meant to be. What? You know, you and me in typing type class. It's typing class. Same diff. So, how do you get into Photomart or whatever it is? It's Photoshop. Here, you just click this button. I'm okay. 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 Freaks say what? hurt you all because of our love. Truly's beautiful voice was in Helena's ear. But Helena choked, tears beginning to slide down her pale, cold cheeks. What does this mean? You're leaving me? No, I could never leave you. I love you too much. That leaves me with a problem, though. What? Truly's eyes flashed as he brought his sword out of nowhere and impaled Helena in the stomach with it. You have to die, he grimly replied, his face turning dark with sorrow. Helena stared at him, surprised, as she gasped her last tragic breath. Truly told her finally, I love you. I'm sorry. Then he walked away, and Helena died, cold, alone, and friendless. The end. So did you ask him? No, but I finished my novel. Can I read it? I don't freaking care! Okay, so I have your laptop and I read your story because I don't have a third hour and it's amazing. I loved it. Truly is awesome and I love him and Helena. There was only one thing I couldn't quite understand. Wait, how did you manage to read a 350 page novel in 50 minutes? That's not important. What doesn't make sense is the ending. What about it? Well, I mean, it doesn't have to end happily, but it can't end that way. I didn't want it to end that way, but that's just <laughs> how it did. So I was thinking, like, someone's coming up really soon. And decide whether I should wear blue or green because green goes really well with my eyes. <laughs> uh, well, maybe you can't find the right ending because your life is such a mess. No. My life is a
tardiness. I was discovering the cure for jerkitis, but I couldn't find a test subject, so I came here. Is it anything like schizophrenia? Because I've already done several studies on my seven personalities. Well, good luck with that. You know what, Miss Sunshine? I'm tired of your sarcastic attitude. Why can't you just simply smile and pretend to be happy like everyone else? Well, whenever I see your face, it doesn't make me want to smile. It makes me sick. That is it, Sunshine Girl. FYI, your final grade. F for failure of my class. The I because of your incompetence, and why? For that stupid why you use in your name. It's supposed to be an A. A is average in your case. You could try. You could try to get a higher F in this class, but don't bother, because you will always suck, suck, suck with a capital C. <laughs> you suck. I am like you because I'm perfect in every way. That's it. Mr. Augustine, you're an idiot. You're a pathetic old man who only gets pleasure by being a total jerk to his students. And you're just hiding the fact that you flunked physics, and the only reason you're teaching here is because you're Mr. Pecan's nephew. That's right. I said it. And you, Miss Vanessa? Yeah. The only job you'll be able to handle is the drive through at McDonald's, and being able to pay your rent using activities only legal in Las Vegas. Because those are the only two jobs that require no brain, which you don't have. I don't need this class to graduate, and I don't need you. Your face looks better than the obituaries. Yourselves, you ungrateful delinquents. Hey!